2016 study showed that birds, specifically Japanese tits, use syntax in their communication. Syntax is how the meaning of words, or vocalizations in this case, can change when the order is rearranged, and also how the structural composition in combined phrases matter when composing meaning. For example, saying Dexter bit the dog and the dog bit Dexter mean two separate things. And saying Dex dog bit the doesn't really mean anything at all. Apparently the same thing's true for Japanese great tits. They have a multitude of calls, and the authors of this paper focused on a few specifically. One was the ABC call, and it's a string of vocalizations that specifically means scan for danger. And when the tits hear that call, they're much more likely to scan the horizon. And the other call, they label D, and it comes in its own string of 7 to 10 notes, and it means approach me, or come over here. In their observations, it's not uncommon for a string of Ds to come after an ABC call, or a combination of A, B, or C, but it's uncommon for the Ds to come first. So they set up a loudspeaker and played the birds some calls while observing them. And when they played ABC calls, the birds looked around a bunch more. And they were much more likely to approach the speaker when they played a string of D calls. And when they played the ABCD calls, the birds showed a combined response and both came over and looked for danger. But when they audio engineered up a D ABC call, the birds were less likely to scan around for danger. And they were less likely to wing over to their speaker buddy. And with that, they were able to show that the individual vocalizations have distinct meaning. And the compositional order of the calls matter too, and that's syntax.